Okay, guys, let's talk because we, we, we got to have a talk. I mean, come in here, come in, sit down. We have to talk. But first off, before we even get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you'll be notified on whenever a video comes. But we got to talk. So hurry up and do that so we can have our talk. So this gathering that we're having is for Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is on a revolution to make sure that we're all beautiful and we're all looking good. They're going to make sure that we slay this year. They're going to make sure that we're on point. And there's no child that's going to be left behind in this revolution. No, but for real. So this video is about Makeup Revolution. It's this, my new favorite drugstore makeup brand. You guys know I have picked up some products from Makeup Revolution on my Snapchat. So if you follow me, you already got the scoop. You know the exclusive. But I decided to go to Ulta and purchase some more products because Makeup Re Revolution is exclusive to Ulta. And we're going to try it out. We're going to see how Makeup Revolution is. Every time I go to Ulta, I find myself purchasing their products like their lipsticks, their highlighters, their liquid highlighters is my recent purchase. You guys can actually see a sneak peek. I'm not going to prolong this video. I just wanna get straight into it so you guys can know my thoughts on Makeup Revolution. Is this my favorite makeup brand? I'm gonna be having new videos coming out every Wednesday and Friday, so hit that notification button so that you can stay tuned and we're gonna slay together this year. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I love you guys. Lego. Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta use my same primers because I'm super oily and I do not wanna switch up my primer products yet. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I'm just gonna spray this all over my face and then pat it into the skin. This spray gives you that hydrating and that modifying feel all at the same time. I love it. Okay, let's go in with my Too Faced Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my skin because I'm super duper oily, so I need something that's gonna mattify me all day. So my primer doesn't just go on my T-zone, my primer goes everywhere. Every single place on my face. Last step for priming is my Benefit Pore Professional. I absolutely love this stuff to fill in my pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the areas where I have larger pores, which is on my cheeks. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. You guys see it all the time. So I'm gonna do them off camera and I'm gonna use my same eyebrow pencil. I was looking for the brow pomade at Brow Pomade at Ulta, but they didn't have it at my Ulta store. So I'm gonna just use my ColourPop eyebrow pencil and I'll be right back. So my eyes are primed and ready to go. I just use my regular concealer and setting powder. Let's get to it. So I bought this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. This is the Flawless, Flawless Reflections 3 palette. It has 32 colors. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. So here it is, Makeup Revolution. It says Makeup Revolution London. It says Makeup Revolution London. It's so pretty in this rose gold sleek packaging. I love it. So the name of the colors are here and this is what the palette looks like. Very neutral. It has some mattes, a little bit of shimmers. These seem like, well, there's some cool tones and some warm tones in here. So that is just, <laughs> Amazing. So I always use a warm brown. Well, not always. Most of the time I use a warm brown for my transition color. So I think I'm going to take this one here, use it as my transition color today. Now, as I br put my brush into it, it does have quite a bit of fallout, but I'm hoping that the color is really pigmented since it's falling out so much. My theory would be correct. This is so pigmented. This palette seems more of like an everyday palette, so I'm gonna keep it everyday glam. So now I'm gonna use this color here, which is like a dark brown, and I'm gonna put this in the crease to give me some definition. Like this whole row is almost shimmers. I really don't know which color I wanna use, but I think I'm gonna use this color here. Yeah, we're gonna apply this all over the lid. The champagne color is so pretty, but I think it needs some spray. I'm gonna use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray to give me a little bit more pigment. I want it to look metallic. Go back in with that deep brown to blend the colors together. I'm like so feeling their eyeshadow. So we're gonna move on to foundation since of course I don't have their foundation because I don't believe they have one. So I'm gonna use the foundation that I normally use, which is gonna be my Naked Skin Foundation by River Decay in the shade 11.0. And I'm gonna use it, you know, just apply it to my face as normal. Foundation on and I'm 
so excited to try this like this concealer right here they have concealers and this is the color c14 um, I'm gonna use this as my highlighting concealer I have a deeper concealer to try to contour with their deeper concealer is deep but I don't know if it's deep enough to contour with but one thing that I'm so proud of by makeup revolution <laughs> let me take this out of the packaging first one thing I'm so proud of from Makeup Revolution is the fact that they are not like a huge, huge brand and they still try to get their concealers for deeper skin tones. Like they didn't launch 50 Shades of Beige and then went to dark. Their range is just so amazing for dark skin. So you have so many different colors to try out. If I have the space, I'll leave their color selection here. And that just makes me so proud and I'm like, Ugh. You know what, Makeup Revolution, you got my heart. You got my heart. So I'm going to try this as my highlighting concealer today. I should have picked up a shade that was a little bit lighter. In the bottle, I thought it was going to work for me. And I don't know if this is going to work. And this is really, it's really cool for me. I like something that's more on the yellow side. Feels good. But I think I would definitely, definitely go lighter. But this is giving me more of like a natural look so I can work with it natural vibes now this is the shade that I'm gonna try to contour with this is C17 which is dark but I don't know if it's dark enough to contour for my deep skin tone but we will see okay yo we might have something here And you fool me. Yo. You look, you're you legit impressing me right now. You are impressing me right now. But damn, Makeup Revolution, like. Where have you been? Because you need to teach a lot of these drugstore makeup brands. You know your secrets let them know what you're doing because you got me shook right now like this is gonna tell it all this is gonna tell it this is gonna tell me if you my favorite makeup if you're my favorite makeup brand or not like this banana powder you know i am die hard for sasha buttercup and my laura mercier those are the only two powders i use i used to use ben i back in the day can't do that no more we gonna see it says the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation or concealer giving you a flawless finish we're about to test you out right now and i'm gonna bake so hopefully this doesn't make me look too dry and hopefully it doesn't leave this white cast and i think i do need to do a flash test i mean it's only right to test it all the way out because i ain't gonna lie I'm scared to try other powders, but I gotta give y'all a scoop. I gotta give y'all the scoop, the whole scoop. I'm using a red to fade out my bottom lash line. It's actually this one right here. Boop, 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 boop. Filling my inner corner with that same champagne shade. A little black in my waterline on two thirds of my bottom lash. Gonna do a little baby wing. I'm about to put on mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. But I'm gonna show you guys my favorite lashes. These right here, if you follow my Snapchat, you already know. Like, Snapchat has all of the exclusives. But these are from Ulta as well. They're the Ayalora Vegas Nay Lux Collection Bronze Beauty. These are my favorite drugstore lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. I mean, I can't cheat on Black Radiance. I just can't, so. We're going to set the concealer contour with black radiance. Now the scary part. Let's swipe away the setting powder. I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. And let's see how we look. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl powder to help me with wiping away 
the setting powder because this is a powder you probably don't want to bake with because when I tell you it's not budging this powder is not going anywhere so I definitely want to talk about this for a minute let's let's just take let's take a step back let's talk about this for a minute so using so using a face powder is not necessarily the problem that I have with this setting powder because if you watch my other videos you know that I use my face powder to wipe away my setting powder at times so I do do that however with this setting powder the thing about it is I'm really really oily so I have to bake that's what I do because I'm so oily so I need everything to set in place but with this powder I can't bake with it because it just sits in place and it but like it does not budge it does not move it's so hard to get out I had to use the powder like it was not optional I had to use the face powder in order to wipe away the setting powder now I don't know how it is without baking because some powders are not really good to bake with and if you just put it on and wipe it off immediately then you'd be good to go so I don't know how that actually tests on my skin but I know on my skin and if on oily skin since I'm really really oily and if you're very dry do not bake with this powder because it will not move it will be so hard to move so that is my only thing about the powder but I'm gonna continue to test it out and see how it sets without me baking like just putting it on and wiping it away immediately you know what let me try that let me reverse contour and let's see how that works the girl with the mask plan so this powder is just very very hard to brush away whether you sit with it or if you try to wipe away immediately it's just really hard to brush away I'm hoping this does not give me any flashback. I'm really scared about that because it's just so hard to move. So I'm just adding a little bit of my face powder to kind of fade out that, that obvious line. Everything else I love so far, but I do think Makeup Revolution can kind of change the formula for their setting powders just a little bit because this banana powder is it's a little rough. So Makeup Revolution has a blush and I'm going to be using the Matte Blush Powder Infusion. I have already tried this before. I absolutely love it. I know at one point everybody was saying dark skin girls can't wear blush. Like blush who? Blush what? Because I wear blush. And I look good in it if I do say so myself. Like this line is just going to irritate me. Now this is my absolute fave, three, fave thing from Makeup Revolution is these highlighters. I have three different colors. I cannot find the rose gold one. I don't know why but I wore it yesterday. But I'm going to show you the gold one and it is just when it dries down it dries down so pretty. Oh my god. So this is the drop. I'm going to spread it. And just look how pigmented and gorgeous let's do it together the other one is unicorn so this is unicorn before it spread out and look how gorgeous how gorgeous is unicorn I really wish I could show you guys rose gold but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use gold today to kind of go with my little subtle eye so let's use it actually since it's not dry yet I'm just going to dab my finger in it and I'm gonna put a little bit Now that's just the beginning. I'm gonna take this highlighter, which is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights, and we're gonna set it off. This is so blinding. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pitch Liner. And Makeup Revolution's Inclination Lipstick. One of my favorites. My setting spray has changed. I know it's in a downy wrinkler bottle, but don't try me. What is in here is just tea tree oil and water, and I have been loving it. It really opens up like your sinuses, especially in the summertime, spring and summertime, whenever there's a lot of pollen around and you need to 
feel relaxed and calm and just open up your sinuses i absolutely love this this feels really good on the skin too you have to really try essential oils it's amazing i don't know if i said tea tree oil but it's peppermint oil and water all right my love so this is the final look let me just go ahead and quickly run through my thoughts of makeup revolution I was super pumped to try out Makeup Revolution like some of their other products and I love their concealers even though I feel like I got the wrong shade but I could easily go back in and get a lighter shade. Their setting powder, mm, I must say that's the only thing that I don't like about Makeup Revolution is just their setting powder. Like as you can tell it makes me look a little bit, makes me look a little gray. You may not be able to see it on camera but I did take a look at like a natural lighting and then I went in my bathroom lighting and it does make me look a little great. It's very, very hard to remove. But Makeup Revolution is a makeup brand that I will absolutely be supporting because they actually tried to get it right. There are so many companies out there that have been out here for decades and they still have not tried to cater to women of dark, darker or deeper, deeper skin. So you have all the money and all the resources, but you haven't even tried. Not gonna shade anybody, but tart, never mind. But anyways, the fact that they tried just, like it warms my heart so much because nobody knows how it feels unless you are a deeper skin tone baby and you know how it feels to go into makeup stores and they don't have anything that really caters to your skin. It is getting a lot better. But me first getting into makeup, it was so rough and so tough. It is still hard out there, but I thank Makeup Revolution for even trying. Thank you so much for that. Their highlighters, liquid highlighters, highlighters, eyeshadows, everything else is bomb. Like I must say that I am growing to love this cosmetic brand. So I challenge you guys, I challenge you guys to try out Makeup Revolution and see how well it wears on your skin and to see if you absolutely love the products because there are so many brands out there that are trending but sometimes you gotta step off the bandwagon and just try new things and you don't have to go for everything that's so popular. So I dare you guys to try out Makeup Revolution and I absolutely love their products. I'm not going to rant and rave about it. That is just my thoughts on everything. If you guys want more videos like this, trying out brands that are not well known or just like one makeup brand videos, whatever you guys want, whatever your requests are, leave them in the comment section below because I want to make sure that I make videos that you want and you guys are happy and satisfied with them. I am definitely going to try to start making videos and posting them every Wednesday and Friday. So you guys have two videos for me every week. So set those notifications on so you'll know Wednesdays and Fridays is when I have a new video coming out for you guys. I am just back. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I love you guys. I feel all the love. I feel all the support. And it's just so fucking amazing. I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in and sticking around. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's get it 2018. I'll see you guys later. Bye.